So in this video, we're going to show you how to move a 3D object with your uh, finger in the X and Y axis. So this is our Unity project, uh, very simple with a static cube and a collider. Now we're going to create a script and we're going to name it uh, Touch Movement. So let's remove the start method, we don't need it. Now in the update, we're gonna check if there's any input touch that is detected by the device screen. And then we create a variable named touch of type touch. And we assign the information about the first touch detected on the screen to the variable. Now we're going to create a new method. We're gonna name it uh, get touch word position. Inside it, we're gonna create a vector3 variable touch post screen uh, where we're gonna assign the first input touch that was detected by the device and then we create another vector3 variable and we assign the camera main dot screen to word points where it converts uh, screen coordinates into word coordinates uh, here we put uh, the touch position x and y And for the Z position, we take the absolute difference between the object Z position and the camera Z position uh, to ensure that the touch position is aligned with the object's depth in the game world. So basically, we convert the touch position uh, into word coordinates. Then we're gonna return the, the variable. And we're gonna change it from void to vector3. So the function gonna return a vector3 variable. Now here we're going to create a touch position vector3 and store the get touch word position. And then here we set the z coordinates of the touch position to the transform object. Because we only want to move the object in the x and y axis, we don't want to move the z position. And then we use a switch case. Uh, we're going to check the phase of the touch. So case if the touch phases began, uh, meaning that we touched the, the user touched the screen, the object's uh, position is set directly to the touch position. And then uh, we check if the touch is uh, moving or stationary. So we're gonna uh, set the transform position to vector3 herb. Uh, to smoothly change uh, the uh, object position so it follows the finger uh, position touch position and here we control the speed of uh, the movement by using time dot delta time and multiplying it by 10 now we're gonna attach the script to the cube Make sure the camera has the main camera tag and then I build the project as an APK to my phone and as you can see I can move the object horizontally and vertically.